You know, and all through the verses. My name is Steve Picaro. I was uh, a founding member of Toto. Uh, I did a whole bunch of sessions in the 70s and 80s and 90s, and uh, um, I'm no, also known for being the co-writer of the song Human Nature on Thriller. You know, with David Foster, I got to work with Alice Cooper and, and uh, uh, Earth, Wind and & Fire, and uh, uh, David brought me in to Quincy's stuff and uh, working with Michael Jackson and the Brothers Johnson and uh, Donna Summer, whoever Quincy was working with, Quincy Jones himself. You know, again, I was always the synth guy. I got deep into the synth stuff and uh, quite often me and other keyboard players would be a good team. CS80 was my, the first synth I bought when Toto started. I really wanted to have something distinctive and new when the band began. At the time, I just had a, uh, I had a Mini Moog, I had a, uh, uh, an Oberheim DS2 sequencer and a synthesizer expander module for the most part. But um, once I heard a CS80, I had to have one. That brass sound, which has always been so important to me, uh, from the original to the, to the new one, um, boy, they sound a lot alike to me. It was used on human nature, the, the bridge of human nature when it goes. During the keyboard solo to Rosanna, the bed underneath the lead solo was this sound that kind of went like this. I was in a band with a lot of guys that were just great players and they their parts and their what they brought to the table came to them very fast and uh, and I could be good at I mean that's why I was hired for sessions is that I could be very fast with synthesizers but um, I was always haunted by the possibilities if I just had more time I could do x y and z so another way uh, I used the CS80 on our very first album was on my song, Taking It Back. And I just love the sound of these sound, sine waves. You could bypass most of the synth engine. The sine waves would go straight to the output there. And uh, I just added a little, I changed the footage here. We went, put one up a fifth, add a little portamento, and I had, you know, the beginning of taking it back. And uh, I tried the same thing on here. And it works. Not only was the poly aftertouch on just the brightness and the loudness, but if you really listen closely, the you could control the, it control the poly aftertouch on the amount of modulation on the LFO and on the speed. And this is on the individual keys. And we can exaggerate it here. You can hear the LFO a little bit more. course I would make it much more mellow and kind of and where a lot of this stuff may sound very subtle to to most people with synthesizers a lot of these the static sounds could just get boring after a while to the ear and these subtle differences every key being slightly different really had this accumulative effect the CS80 had not only portamento, but it had glissando. You 
know, and jump up to notes like that. That was a very unique feature of the CS80. You know, because when I hear a sound, no matter how great it is, when I'm if I'm going to have a chance of using it in something, I usually want to get in there and have a have a handle on it. I want to know where that. How do I control the speed of that LFO? How do I control that filter brightness on just this aspect of the sound? So it's never like a of a sample to me or just some standalone thing that I, you know, would trigger. I usually can't help but want to get in there, you know, and tweak. You know, Arturi has taken things a step further and uh, where the CS80 was very good at controlling the keyboard, the curve of the keyboard on its, on its different ends of the, uh, uh, of the range of the keyboard, Arturi took it another another level where with modulations, effects, and with keyboard itself, you're able to totally tweak your curves for velocity, for aftertouch, mod wheel, keyboard tracking, uh, assign them to different destinations. And uh, I've done a little bit of tweaking myself. That's just in the keyboard advanced part. There's also a whole modulation section, a whole uh, effects section, which I'm using some of their verb and some of their delay. And let me uh, just do a little jam with you here with a, a drum beat. If that was gonna be my job, being the synth guy, I made a lot more out of it.